Hi folks, Brandon again with Access RV. Today we're gonna to be covering one of the newer floor plans at a Flagstaff Microlite. This is the 25 BRDS. This is gonna be one of their very first models they've debuted that features double bunks on the inside, which we'll obviously cover once we get in. Uh, today I'm gonna to walk around, show you unique things about this floor plan uh, and how it can benefit potential customers. If you're looking for more construction and quality type videos, we have those for Flagstaff as well. Uh, let's get right into it though. As always, I like to start at the front. The newest 2019 Flagstaff Microlites incorporate this automotive windshield. I apologize, it's a rainy day, so you do see all the water streaking down. Seven gallon propane bottles with a power tongue jack, dual battery tray behind. The 25 BRDS has a really, really big deep slide that will house the U-shaped dinette. In as such, they're not using a track driven. They use the electric piston driven slides, so you don't have to worry quite as much about being level or making sure you have no weight in your slide for it to operate normally. Pass through storage compartment. A little bit smaller than if it had a fixed bed. This one has the Murphy bed, which I'll demo once we're inside. A lot of outside storage compartments on this model. Big compartment here on the opposite side of your pantry. Compartment underneath your dinette. Take note, Flagstaff does frame their dinette and bed bases in aluminum as well, rather than just using the aluminum in the walls and then a wood there that will break down. They go a little bit more expensive, but robust throughout. Tinted frameless bonded windows. Your water and power connections back here. Detachable 30 amp marine shore power cord. City water, quick antifreeze inlet, and your black tank flush directly forward of your utility shower. The micro lights come with some really nice looking aluminum wheels and utilize torsion axles made by Dexter to give you a really smooth ride, longer warranty period than your traditional leaf springs. Towards the rear, rear ladder. Pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. Uh, if you wish to add that, you just take off that mounting plate, which is four screws, add the Furion camera with the quick connect harness, and then the monitor will plug into a 12 volt outlet in your tow vehicle. And then the image is transmitted wirelessly via Bluetooth. Really helps for people if they've got some tight quarters or trying to back it into at home. The 25 BRDS does have an outside kitchen. So you do have the outside cooktop. All stainless steel. And your outside refrigerator. Forward of that is a mounting bracket for a gas grill. TV mount on exterior marine grade speakers. And then they are using a six gallon DSI gas and electric water heater. And the very newest micro lights we've been seeing come in are now using the new more ride step above steps. I feel that these are really superior to the old box steps because they don't have that bouncy trampoline feel. They're rock solid. You don't have a box hanging out underneath your frame hurting ground clearance. And Flagstaff even goes a step beyond. They use a little gas strut in there. So when you lift it, just with one finger, it goes in on its own. Close the door and you're ready to go. To put it back down just to reverse, give it a pull. Each foot is individually adjustable in case you're on uneven ground. Flagstaff is using friction hinges on their doors so you don't have to worry about the plastic snap that always breaks. This is the other side of that pasture we talked about. Big, big power awning. It's about a 20 foot awning. And the 25 BRDS overall is going to be 25 foot nine inches. Weight's not bad either. This guy comes in at about 5,200 pounds. 
coming inside immediately on the left is your control panel. And it looks like we've got this one with most of the bells and whistles since every button slot is accounted for with the tank heaters. Now I'll look towards the front. Like I mentioned, this guy's got the Murphy bed. And they've just started putting little tables that you can click into the end of the sofa here. Really easy to use. It's just a little button there. It just pops right into place. And now, I'll show you how the Murphy bed works. You can see it folded up to the wall there with the wardrobes on either side. And I should mention this too, this is kind of cool. The very latest versions we've got, rather than just getting the sofa, you've got a flip up footrest now too, which is really nice. So put that back down. To make the Murphy bed, make sure the D-rings on both sides are released. Remove the tables. Just grab the strap for easy jackknife on the sofa. And just reach over, grab the base, pull it down and you're done. Just that easy. And they have the cinch straps there so you can pull them tight and keep your bedding and your pillows made. Pleated nightshade covering that front window. Turning around here, this is the slide out. Big U-shaped dinette that will make a fourth sleeping position that's gonna be a double sized bed. You know, so it has the slide out drawers on each side. Big pantry. And if you want, you can remove those and use it just for a coat closet. Lots of cabinets above as well. Over towards the kitchen. You'll notice they're using solid surface countertops. Double basin stainless steel sink. And both the sink and the cooktop are a drop-in, so they're flush mount. Flat working surface all the way across. And this is the newest version of their Suburban Oven. A little bit more of a residential fill with the glass door on it. The TV ties into the media center here, which is AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. It's got a USB port for charging as well as a HDMI below. Just rear of that is the power switch for the Wi-Fi range extender. Six cubic foot double door refrigerator. And just above that is the air conditioning shroud, which is ducted. You see these throughout. You'll notice how low profile these lights are. They're all going to be LED. And I'll see if you can see it from here. It's kind of hard to see on the video here. But they do use an arched roof inside, which gives you a little bit more headroom in the middle. And this is what I mentioned outside, is this was Flagstaff's dipping their toes into the double bunk models. So a lot more width than your traditional single bunks. Easy for a couple kids to fit in there, or for an adult. Some bungee storage underneath, you'll notice that cardboard box is going to be the outside grill. And then this bottom bunk actually folds up and you get a storage garage back here. Countertop extension in there as well. Sorry, the lighting quality is kind of poor with this rainstorm outside. It's a little bit of a dark day. Back to the bathroom, good sized bathroom. Foot flush Dometic toilet. Tub shower combo with the 14 inch high powered fan above. And then just forward of that is the sink and vanity. And in addition to the new Moride steps, one of the newest things we're seeing on a lot of flag staffs is what they're calling their shower miser system. You'll see that little blue piece of plumbing there. What's cool about this is Traditionally, while you're waiting for your water to heat up, all that lukewarm water is going right down the drain and into your holding tank, and it's still fresh, never even been tainted by soap or food or anything. What this does is it's actually recapturing that water and returning it to your fresh tank, and then this will change color once it's warm so you're not wasting any water. Kind of a cool, innovative thing that Flagstaff's done. And again, this is the Flagstaff. 25 BRDS 
really popular floor plan. Gives you a lot of sleeping position, a lot of elbow room, and what's still typically an average size travel trailer. So if you have any further questions about this model, Flagstaff, RVs in general, don't hesitate to give us a call and we're happy to be your RV superstore.